Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be the fourth episode of tips and matters that you should know. Before we get started, I just want to say that going forward, I'm going to be trying to edit out tips and matters that I've already said in previous episodes. So I will try and not repeat myself, but because there's like hundreds of different matters and tips to go through, sometimes I'll forget. Sometimes I will repeat myself and I do apologize for that, for wasting your time, but I mean, at, at the same time, we could all use the refresh. I mean, you might have forgotten, so not that big of a deal, but I thought I'd just let you know that I do try from now not to uh, repeat myself. Anyway, with that being said, let's just dive into it, eh? All right, country streaks. Let's dive into it. Um, we can do all the stuff. Because I want to be able to move around and try and find stuff. All right. Okay, so in Greece, um, which is where we are here, you will see double white lines a lot. And um, yeah, there, I know it's Greece for sure because there was Greek language before. So, so there are other countries that have double white lines, but um, Greece has them going all the way through. Okay, so the Greek bollard looks like this. It's um, It's got this red square, which is very distinctive. Um, this red uh, rectangle and yeah, it looks like this. There's not many um, bollards that have just a red Rectangle this thick. Um, so it's quite easy to tell So yeah, that is Greece. We got the double white lines. We are 100% over here Alrighty. So I can already tell that this is probably gonna be Australia a few things that are giving it away is the long antenna we're driving on the left we have got um, these eucalyptus trees and so this pole here is a stoby pole which is in South Australia it's actually um, reused railway tracks they take the railway tracks and they turn them into poles in South Australia so um, if you see these poles around you know that you're gonna be in South Australia and we can just double check that. Yeah, we're just in Adelaide. Okay, so there are a few countries that have zebra um, stripe poles like this. Um, Peru, Malaysia, um, I think I'm forgetting one, but Peru drives on the right, as we know. So if we're driving on the left, then that kind of narrows it down to Malaysia. And uh, yeah, we have Malaysian roads here. So, yeah, if you see stripey poles like this, there's only like a few countries that do that kind of thing. And yeah, so we're driving on the left. It's going to be Malaysia. So we can just send it. Yep. Um, so Lesotho is one of the countries that uses rocks on uh, their roofs quite a lot. You will see it in South Africa and you will see it in Eswatini and a few other countries. But... If you see a lot of them, a lot of this stuff happening, um, it's quite likely that you're in Lesotho. So, yeah, but it's uh, quite a Southern African style thing. But yeah, we also have the Lesotho, the Lesotho uh, mountains in the background. So, yeah, we're just in Maziru. Okay, so here we have. I know I have gone through the Ecuador bollards, but I've gone through the one kind where the ones that look like the um, New Zealand bollards, but this is the other one that you can get. You can get the double, the double red like this. So yeah, I have I have talked about it before, but I haven't actually shown it in a video, so not a repeat. But yeah, this is the Ecuador bollard. Basically, if you see any like small white bollard like this with some red on it in any kind of form, and you have like yellow lines down the middle indicating that you're in a American country you're just gonna be in Ecuador so we can confidently send it here way down south um, so these these cones here these traffic cones that are like black and strong orange are specific to Ontario um, so not just Canada you get similar looking ones around the US and Canada but if it's black with dark orange like this, because a lot of them will be like yellow um, or something like that. But if it's black and orange like this, this is specific to Ontario. So we're going to be in this province here of Canada. 
Um, yep, we are just down by Toronto. If you are in a Scandinavian looking country, because you've got the red barns and stuff like that, um, and you have a white sign, then you're going to be in Norway, because in Sweden and Finland, these speed signs are yellow. Um, also, we have the long dashes, which we know is uh, Norway, because Sweden's got the short dashes. Finland just has uh, solid lines, but the white sign is also going to tell us that we are in Norway. So, in this round, it looks like we're probably in uh, Latin America from the landscape um, and the Google car, um, but the sun is in the south. So that is indicating to me that we're going to be in Mexico and then we also have a lot of cactus. So without having to move around too much, if we were doing a no move, a no move game here, I would send Mexico quite confidently um, because it can't be anywhere else. So we are in a country here that has Cyrillic and then the Latin equivalent underneath. Um, there's three countries that do this, Serbia, North Macedonia, and Bulgaria. The only country out of those three that has blue signs like this, blue um, directional signs, is Bulgaria. So if you see uh, Cyrillic with the Latin equivalent, and it's on a blue sign, you can confidently send it in um, Bulgaria. Yeah. All right, so we know that we're in Portugal here because we have yellow on the side of these um, plates. So we have Portuguese plates, we have the Portuguese pole, but um, we also have, if we didn't have those things, we'll see these a lot. Red, white and red sign. Sometimes it's circular, um, but this is a Portuguese no hunting sign. So if you see this in a rectangular shape or a circular shape, um, this is the Portuguese no hunting sign. This snow pole here that has the white strip in the middle, like this, is going to be Norway. Um, you do get similar ones in Sweden. The Finnish one has this white strip at the top. Um, so if you see it in the middle here, then you're probably going to be in either Norway or Sweden. And then you can just determine by the white sign, like I talked about earlier, that this is going to be Norway. Also, we have the green plate, um, which you get in Norway and the long dashes which you get in Norway. This is going to be far north I'd say because of the trees. Usually if the trees are quite um, you know short like this and spread out it means this is going to be an area where the climate is harsher um, which is usually going to be further north. So yep way up there. Okay so this is um, Polish language this, um, this is actually an L. It looks like a T, but it's an L with a line through it, which you only get in the Polish language. Um, lots of o, like OWs and Zs and stuff. OE and like this kind of thing. It's very Polish. Also the green sign, which um, looks similar to a Hungarian sign. So in Hungary, you also have the same color green with the white text. Um, but only those two countries really have this kind of sign, looking, looking sign. Um, so we can go Poland here. All right, so I've gotten stuck on this beach. So I managed to get off the beach and this is as far as I can go. Um, this is as far as I can get is just up here. And then this happens. So as you can see, I can only go back to the beach. So we've got Spanish. And this is about it. So, where are we? It looks kind of tricky, but if you know metas, it's actually not tricky at all. Because we've got this pole over here, which has a long indent. Um, and I had this is a repeat, but I'm going to include it in here to show the importance of knowing poles when it comes to GeoGuessr. Because we could have been quite stuck here. Like, yes, we have Spanish and, you know, it is quite far south southern hemisphere because the, the sun is in the north so we can determine where we are based on those kind of things but this just makes it so much easier 
um, just knowing a pole like this and knowing that that long indent without ladders in it um, it was gonna be Chile so I think we could have figured it out but it would have been a lot more tough it would have lot, been a lot riskier without that pole so luckily we know the pole we can send Chile and we can get the country right so I might have talked about this before but I'm just gonna like bring it up that if you look like if it looks like you're in Africa the countries that drive on the right like we're doing here are Nigeria Ghana Senegal and Tunisia um, and here we have yellow plates so out of all those countries those four um, we, with yellow plates like this we're gonna be in Ghana um, the other the other countries don't have plates like this in Nigeria you're gonna get a greenish sort of plate Senegal you're gonna get a lot of blue plates and in Tunisia you're gonna get a lot of black plates so all the plates in these countries are very different so remembering the colors is very important so we can go Ghana here safely all right so this time we are on a dirt road no signs nothing to really go off we do have these birch trees which indicate to me that we're probably in a Baltic country if you're unsure what Baltic countries are the Baltic countries are these three countries here um, Estonia Latvia Lithuania so I think we're in one of these countries and the reason I think this is going to be Estonia is because the road is narrow and it's a dirt road you do get dirt roads in Lithuania and Latvia but they're usually wider and in Estonia there are just more dirt roads so it's more likely that this is going to be Estonia and um, I'm willing to take the bet now without moving around much further that this is just Estonia yep worked out worked like a charm all right so this place um, was a little bit tricky because this sort of um, language and the sign being yellow is common in Slovenia and Croatia if you can't really if you're like me and you can't really tell the difference between those two languages um, and they both have yellow signs you're gonna have to rely on something else so one big difference between those two countries is that Croatia has plain white plates with no euro strip on Slovenia has the blue euro strip so we can have a look here at these cars and you can see right there that there is no blue strip on these cars those ones don't really look like it either so because of all these white plates this is gonna indicate to me that we are in Croatia and we were just down here if you see a uh, street sign like this that says Iela at the end, this is Latvian for street. So Iela, you're going to be in Latvia. Okay, so we here we have the other country that has the black and white poles. So earlier when I was talking about Malaysia, I mentioned Peru. This is the Peruvian one. Now if we look around, this doesn't look like typical Peru. So I'm not sure without that pole if I would actually go Peru here, but the thing that gives it away is this pole. This is why these sort of things come in handy, because if I was looking around, <laughs> I don't know if I'd go Peru here, um, to be quite honest. Luckily we have that pole and we know that we are in Peru. And that's why it was tricky because we were way up there. Um, luckily, we had that sign pole. Um, so, here we can kind of tell that we're in Jordan because we have, first of all, we have this black car. Um, but even without the Google car, we can see that we're driving on the right and we have these sort of um, plates with Arabic around. Um, out of the places with Arabic, uh, you're not going to get these sort of plates like elongated almost European plates around except for in Jordan and then this taxi here the yellow one with um, the green bottom you're only going to get these taxis in Amman in the city 
Um, so we are just in the capital here in Amman. 100%. And yeah, we are just in there. Um, so these, these poles here are Bulgarian poles. They have um, a bit sticking out, going up, and then alternating on each side three times. Um, this is going to be Bulgaria. Also, it looks like winter coverage. And the architecture does look like Bulgaria. And we have Cyrillic, so it's, um, yeah, 100% going to be Bulgaria. All right, so I just, um, I just got put on this road, and it looks like it could be anywhere. But this is the the Portuguese hunting sign that I was talking about earlier. It isn't circular, it's a diamond shape. Um, but this is the, the no hunting sign in Portugal, um, the other version of it. So we have that rectangular one that we saw before, and then we have this diamond one here. Um, so looking around, it could have really been anywhere. I think, uh, no, these poles here, the ladder ones with the holes through it, this is also Portuguese. So knowing these things is very helpful because if you were just looking at this, it might be quite tricky. It could probably be quite tricky, but if you know these little things, you know, it's gonna it's gonna help you out quite a lot. So we can send Portugal. Very nice. Well, that's gonna be all for today. Um, I will be back soon with more tips and tricks. So if you enjoyed it or found it at all helpful, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. It really does help. Yeah, take care of yourself. I'll be back soon. Take it easy. Bye.